Hi students, uh, it's Mr. Nguyen here. Welcome to another video for tutorials on interior and exterior angles of polygons. And we are doing this using IXL. All right, let's look at this first problem here. We have a convex polygon. Convex just mean the, uh, the, the, the shape that we work with, which are which have the vertex pointing outward, right? That's that's what convex means. Uh, we are looking for the sum of the exterior or interior angle. Well, the sum of the interior angle of this, um, we know it's uh, it's going to be one eighty. This is this is this is the fact that we all know. So, all right. Um, interior angle of this one. Well, this one is four sided, so it's three sixty. Now, if you wonder, um, if you did not know that by heart. Okay, 360. If you did not know that by heart, you would be wondering, well, how, how, how do I get 360? Is it true for all four sided? What am I typing? For all four sided um, polygon? And the answer is yes. So the formula is for, for the, uh, the sum, uh, the sum of uh, interior, interior angles of quadrilateral. Quadro, quadrilaterals mean four sides, uh, right? Four-sided figure. So four-sided. Um, so what um, the formula says, okay, you take this number of side, which is n, you take away two sides, that will give you the number of triangle, right? So anytime, like say, if you have three sides figure and you take away two sides, you end up with one. Well, that one is one triangle. Okay, if you have four side, you take away two. That means it gives you two triangle. And for this square, you could actually cut the square into two triangles, and that's what the formula means. And then you multiply this by one eighty, and that will give you two times one eighty, which is three hundred and sixty. Now you're gonna see me using this formula for more sided figure. For four sided, I already know it by heart. It's three sixty. Okay. Uh, some of you guys may have even memorized it for five-sided, six-sided, okay? Submit. All right, now here, this one. Okay, this, this one, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wait, six? No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This one is seven. So a uh, heptagon, a seven-sided figure. So let's do, let's follow the formula. We take seven. Okay, and we subtract two from that. That gives us the number of triangle, and then we multiply that by 180 because each triangle has 180 degrees in it, right? So let's say so seven minus two is five. Five times 180. So the total interior is a 900. And I almost fail for this trick. It did not ask me for interior. It's asking me for exterior. Well. <laughs> There's a theorem that says the sum of the exterior angle um, of all polygon would be 360. And this, this number is fixed, guys. It doesn't matter how many sides it has, 360. I look for the interior angle, and I did not need to. So anyway, I almost put in the wrong answer. All right, so what's, what's the, um, uh, sto the story here? Uh, always read direction. <laughs> All right, this one is looking for interior. Oh, now I use the formula. Okay, so uh, it's going to be N, which is um, um, how many sides? So we have five sided here. Uh, take away two and then times 180. All right, next problem, I'm not going to type the formula in. I'm just going to tell you what it is and then we're just going to type that into our calculator. Okay, so five take away two is three. Three times 180 give you 540 degrees. So this is the sum of all of those angles in there. So I'm going to type in 540 and I hit enter. 540. Enter. Okay. What is the value of x? Okay, so uh, this is a regular polygon. What does regular mean? Regular means all the sides and all the angles are congruent, okay? So this a triangle essentially is an equilateral triangle. So that's what regular mean, okay? Regular means all sides are equal and all angles are equal, okay? So we know that the total uh, measure is 180 and then um, the... Uh, 
and then there are three angles so if we divide it by three each of them would would be uh, 60 degrees so oops that's not what I want to type I want to type it with this 60 there you go submit yay okay and we're looking for outside okay this one's easy how many uh, sides are there one two three four five six so we have six sides that means we have six outside angle so we have six exterior angles and we know that the total is 360 so if we take 360 and we divide it by six each um, each outside angle Right, each outside angle would be 60 degrees. So I'm going to put 60 in here. Okay, each outside angle will be 60 degrees. So 360 is the total outside, and there are six of them, so I divide it by six. There you go. All right, we want one of them. Okay, to, to do one of them, you have to know the total. And to, to know the total, you have to do the formula. So let's just type this in right here. How many sides are there? So one two three four five six seven eight so we have eight side eight take away two multiply by 180 so that would be um six times 180 the total is one zero eight zero so one thousand sorry equals 1080 okay so 1080 and then there are eight angles on the inside so i have to divide this by eight to get one angle correct so i take that answer i divide it by eight i get 135 for each angle so the answer for this problem is 135 okay so first i found the total and then i divide by how many angles there are okay 135 submit yay Okay, next one. Is this the same? Oh, wait, it looks like it has more side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, nine side. So, I'm going to take nine and then subtract two. That will be seven. And then seven times 180 would give me uh, 1,260. And then there are nine angles. So, I'm going to divide it by nine. So, that's 140 for each angle. 140, 140. I'm going to jump level after this, guys, to make it um, more fun. This one's easy. Let's see. This one, well, it's kind of easy, too, so let me see. This is a convex polygon, and the total measure is um, 180, right? And we just need to add all the angles together and set it equal to 180, and then we can solve for the value P. So our equation is 2P plus 2p, so I'm going to go ahead and type in 4p, plus 32 equals 180. That's the equation. And then we subtract 180 and then divide it by 4. So I'm uh, not subtract 180, subtract 32. And then divide it by 4. Uh, my p value is um, 37. So I'm going to go ahead and type in. This is a easy two-step equation. Uh, all of you guys can handle this one. 37 degrees for P. Uh, technically, P shouldn't even have a degree in it because P is only a value. It's not really an angle until you plug it in here, right? You substitute it back in here, but I'm not. Whatever. Submit. Okay. Take that away, what I just typed there. All right, we're in a problem where they don't draw a picture for us, so they're just going to give us a, a description. They want exterior angle. Uh, what is the sum of the exterior angle of a 12-sided uh, polygon? They call it a 12-gon. A 12-gon is a 12-sided polygon. Well, it doesn't matter how many sides it has. The sum is always 360, so I'm going to put that in there. Okay. Uh, should I jump level? Oh, God. No, I should not. Let's try this one. What is this? It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are six sides. Um, six sides that mean there are six exterior angles and we know the total is 360 so let's make an equation so that we can solve for p okay so what i would do um now if you sit here and you add each one of these uh that's going to be a really long equation right 
Well, what I would do is I would say, okay, let me add all the P's together, see how many P's there are. There's five P's here, right? There's five P here. And then there's three P here, that's eight. And there's the one P here, so that's a total of nine P. So what I'm doing is I'm combining like terms um, before I even write my equations, right? And then now I'm gonna combine the numbers. I have um, negative 25 here, so I'm gonna type in my calculator just so I don't mess up. Negative 25, and then I'm gonna add 51, and I'm gonna add 11, I'm gonna add 90, I'm gonna add 35. So I'm gonna end up with 162. So 9P plus 162, equal 360, which is the total of all the angles on the outside. Then this is a two-step equation. I can uh, subtract the 162 from 360, right? 360 minus 162, I get 198. And then I divide, I divide by nine, I get 22. So the p-value is 22. Type that in, two, two, submit. Woohoo! Yay! Uh, take away what I just typed in. Uh, what is the measure of the exterior angle of a regular triangle? Oh, this one. What is the measure of one exterior? Okay, so a regular triangle has uh, three uh, outside angle, and the total is um, 360. So what I do is I take 360 and I divide it by three because there are three angles, and I end up with 120. So each outside angle is 120 degrees. Well, it makes sense because the inside angle is 60 degrees, and the outside angle is uh, supplementary to that, so it must be 120. Submit. Here we go. Okay, what is this? Okay, so two things. We ha First, we have to find the total. Then we have to combine like terms and set all of that equal to the total, right? So let's do this, okay? So how many T's do I have? Let's count them. Three here. Two here, that's five. Two more here, that's seven. Uh, one here, that's eight. And two more here is 10. So 10 T, okay, 10 T. And then let's do, uh, combine the number. I have a negative 46 there. So negative 46 plus one, I'm going counterclockwise here, plus one, and then minus 23 uh, plus 107 uh, plus 40 minus nine. So the total is 70, so plus 70, plus 70. And then equal, well equal to what? I don't know, so let me count how many side this is. That means I have to find the total measure inside, right? So what is the total measure inside? All you have to do is count the side. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six sides, that means you can make one triangle, two triangle, four, uh, three triangle, four triangle. We can make four triangle out of this. So if you don't believe me, I'm gonna draw lines and let you see this. One triangle, two, and then four. So one, two, three, four. So 180 times four. 180 times four. Oops, 180 times four. So seven, um, 720 degrees, 720. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna subtract 70 and then divide it by 10. Minus 70 divided by 10. Uh, my answer for the T value is uh, 65. So I'm gonna type in 65, okay? Now they could also uh, ask you for each angle measure. If they do that, then you just uh, substitute the 65 back in, okay? Submit. I'm sure they're going to ask us that later. Delete what I just did there. Delete that equation there. Okay, we're in the 80s. Okay. Uh, a next, if an exterior angle of a regular polygon measures 60 degrees, how many size does it have? Ooh, we're going backwards. We're going backwards. Okay, so let's write down the formula real quick. Okay, let's start with the formula. The formula is n minus 2 times 180 equals the total, okay? The total of the interior angles. Now, we also know that one angle, one angle 
equals the total divided by how many sides there are, uh, divided by n. So if I were to solve this for total, it will be one angle times n equals the total, right? So if I take this and I substitute it in here, so instead of total, instead of total, I substitute one angle times n in here. I do one angle times n right in here. One angle, one angle times n. Okay, well that means now my equation has n minus 2 times 180 equals one angle is 144 times n because they told me an angle is 144 and then n is what I'm looking for. So now I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna multiply this through and I get 180 n minus 180 times 2 is 360 equals 144 n. So now I'm going to subtract 144 and move the 360 to the other side. So 180 minus 144, 180 minus 144 is 36. So I have 36 n equal 360. And then now I'm going to divide that by uh, 36, I get n equal to 10. So that's how you solve for n, right? All I did was just start with my equation and work backwards, right? So n equal to 10. So I'm going to put 10 in here. 10 sides. This polygon has 10 sides. Here we go. OK. Let's erase what I did there. OK. What is the sum of the exterior angle? Oh, well, again, the sum of all uh, polygons with the exterior angles of 360 degrees. Dun, 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 dun. All right, let's take a look at this one. I think I'm going to uh, uh, skip level here so we can be in the Jalen zone maybe. Uh, that one we've done before, so let's skip. I want to be in the Jalen zone. There you go. Okay, so we have a convex quadrilateral. That means we have four sides with the interior angle measure of that, 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 that. What is the value of S? Okay, so instead of giving us a picture, that's just giving us a description. So what we do is we have four angles, we add all four angles up, and we set it equal to 360, which is the total of the interior uh, measures, right? So let's combine light term real quick. We have 2S and 3S and then 1S, so that would make 6S. And then we have 66 and negative 48. So 66 minus 48 give us uh, 18. So plus 18. And that's going to equal to the total, which is 360. And I'm going to solve this equation by subtracting um, 18 from 360. And then I'm going to take the answer and divide it by 6. Uh, the value for S is 57. 57. It. There you go. Okay, delete that. A convex quadrilateral has interior angle. So it's pretty much the same thing again. So let's uh, see what our equation is. So quadrilateral again is 360, right? So let's add all the u's together. So we have one u, two u here, four u, uh, three more will be seven, and then one more will be eight. So I have a total of eight u. And then let's do the numbers. Uh, negative 50 minus 31 minus 29 plus 6 is negative 104. Uh, so minus 104. And that, of course, equal to 360 because that's the total for a four-sided polygon. And uh, next step, I'm going to add... I'm going to add 104 to 360, right? I get 464, 64, not 67. Uh, and then I'm going to end up dividing by 8. So what is that? That's 58. So what, what does 58 mean? 58 means that it is the value of U, okay? The letter U, 58. Okay, so here I am. I jumped to level all the way to the max. Um, so we have, uh, they want, 
one, two, three. So this polygon has three sides. What's the value of y? Oh, well, we know the total for three sides is 180. So we just set the equation equals to 180. So what is our equation? Uh, combine all the y, we get 5y. Combine negative 15 and negative 43, we get negative 56. So minus 56 equal to the total of triangle would be 180. Okay, so I'm going to add 56 and divide it by 5 right, if, uh, to solve for y. So 180 plus 56 equal to th 236 divided by 5, 47.2. So each angle is 47, or the value of y is 47.2. 47.2. Uh, Submit. Ta-da! Okay, we're at 97 points. Okay, all right, how many angles is this? One, two, three, four, five, six angles. Okay, so um, I know I have to set up an equation and equal to the total of a six-sided polygon, right? I have to find that total first, but let me combine like terms first. So 12p plus 10p, I might have to use a calculator here, guys. 12p, just so that I don't leave anything else, plus 15p, plus 7, plus 13 again, and I think that's it, equals to 57p. That's the total of the, all the p's I got. And then let's say 40, uh, the numbers, 40 minus 21, minus 5, if you wonder where I am, I'm right here, and then minus 7, and then plus 86, so 93, so plus 93. All right, now, here's the thing. I have to I have to know the total. Well, the total is found from the formula. So let's see how many how many sides this thing have. 1 2 3 4 5 6. So six angles mean it's got six sides, right? So 6 take away 2 is 4, 4 times 180. So we take 4 and we multiply by 180. We got 720 is the total of this one. All right, so I am going to uh, subtract 93 from that and uh, and divide by 57. Okay, so P is 11. Okay, uh, I'm going to enter 11 for the value of P. Cool. All right, next one. Uh, kind of the same. Let's go all the way to 100 here. Um, this is a hexagon. So a hexagon tell us right away that it has six sides. So one, two, three, four, five, six. As you can see, that's six angles. Let's combine all the light terms. And what was the six size again? 720, right? We just did that last problem. So the total, right? So how many W I got? One, two, seven, uh, 13, uh, 20. Uh, 24. So I have 24W. Uh, I think the number, I have to use a calculator. 50 plus 50, that's 100, minus 12, minus 42, plus 26, uh, is 72. So plus 72. And then equals to the total is 720. I did that last time, so I remember that. I don't have to do that again. It's just 4 times 180. And then I'm going to subtract 72 and divide by 24. 720 minus 72, and then divide by 24. I get 27. So W is 27. 27. Ta -da. Oh, one more problem, really? God, it gave me one point. Okay, one more problem. A convex octagon has an interior, a convex octagon. Okay, so octagon means eight-sided uh, polygon, right? So we have an eight-sided. One, and it's regular, that's why it's got a name. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go. So let's combine like term and set it equal to a total of an A sided polygon. We'll have to find that, right? Uh, five, uh, two, so we have five here, two, the seven, uh, and then six more would be 13, right? seven six more and it's 13 and then six more is 19 and then six more uh 25 
and then five more, oh, 30. So we have 30 V. The numbers are 30 plus 150 plus 149 plus five plus 26. The total is 360, so plus 360 equal. The total here is eight-sided, but eight-sided take away two would be six-sided times 180. So my equation becomes 30V, 30 30V 30 plus 360 equal uh, six times 180, so 1080. Okay. And then I'm going to subtract 36 and divide it by 30. I mean, subtract 360 divided by 30. Subtract 360 divided by 30. Uh, n is uh, n is 24. Or v. V equals 24, not n. Okay. All right. Let me type this in. And please, please, please be correct so I can get 100. Yay! Okay, we did it, guys. We got a hundred. Uh, hey, uh, thank you for watching. Um, if you like my videos, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that. Otherwise, go have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye-bye.